What's happening guys? It's Shane here. Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite careers which is digital marketing. Now after doing an extensive amount of research there's only about 12 careers out there that are really good have really solid statistics whether you just graduated high school and you don't want to go to college or you already graduated college you got kind of a useless degree or you're in a career but you're not very happy with it and you don't have any experience all of those people in all of those situations can transition over over into this career. There's not that many careers out there that meet all of my criteria like salary, flexibility, uh, demand, job satisfaction, X factors, etc. And this is one of them. So I was doing some research online and I came across this video of Keyshawn who has a really cool story. He's a young guy who was able to get into digital marketing at a very young age without any experience and without getting a college degree. And he's going to share with us his story and how he was able to do that. And I'm gonna be asking him all of the key questions that everybody wants to know, like how much he was able to make, uh, how long it took him to get into it, et cetera, et cetera. So definitely stay tuned for this one. You're not going to want to miss out on it. And let's jump into it right now. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I am very excited today to welcome Keyshawn. Keyshawn is a digital marketer and he was able to get a job at 19 years old. So thank you so much for coming onto the channel, Keyshawn. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. So we're going to go over uh, your story because I, I watched uh, your interview on a different channel. So we're going to go over your story a little bit. So let's just start out uh, kind of at the beginning. Um, you're, you just graduated high school. You're thinking about maybe going to college. Um, and then you decided to go into digital marketing instead. Let me know kind of like how that went and, and how you decided to, to make that choice. Yeah. I mean... When I graduated high school, I just I had no I clue, no clue what I wanted to do. Like most graduates in high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I know I didn't. Uh, I wasn't comfortable with the idea of just like going to college and figuring it out. I wanted to go and like know exactly what I wanted to do because I feel like I've had like my brothers, my older brothers, all went to school just because I think. They didn't go because they had a mission or a purpose to accomplish. They just went because that's what they felt they should do. And it didn't really. And plus, like my time being in school, like after middle school, you realize a lot of the stuff you're learning is not really that useful anyway. It's just kind of like you're just in class, just sitting there learning about stuff, you know, you're never going to use. It was just kind of I don't know. I was just looking for different options. And then one day I was on YouTube. I found this video of this guy named Seth Jarrett Himes talking about college. And at the time I was in school, not really understanding why I was learning the things I was learning. And he just talked about something that was very practical, just learning real skills that'll get you a, a good paying job. And uh, you can do that by skipping college. And he had so many testimonials of older people who actually did it. And I was like, man, I'm young. Some of these people who got jobs, they got kids, uh, mortgages, rent to pay. And I'm sitting here living in my mom's house. Like I could probably learn uh, how to do this digital marketing thing. Uh, at the time I was working at Chick-fil-A, going in every day and like uh, flipping uh, chicken to put the little coder on. I was doing that. I was in the back of house and uh I just, I don't know. I just, I just knew that what I was doing was not going to get me anywhere. So I needed to learn something so I could actually make some real money. And he had this course that basically was teaching people and introducing them to digital marketing. But, and it always intrigued me because in middle school, I always was fascinated by people making money online through, you know, Shopify and drop shipping. This was back in uh, 2013 or 14. And I saw this other guy on YouTube named Hayden Boyles, who's like, he was young, like really young, making a lot of money online through drop shipping. And he was doing it through Facebook ads. And then when I found Seth and he was talking about, hey, this actually is like a career, like people get paid to run ads. And he, he taught me in you know, the basics through Google and stuff through his course and how to uh, make a resume and the things you need to know. And uh, I wound up getting a job uh, right around 19 before I turned 20 and just kind of, it changed everything for me. So, yeah. Okay. That first of all, super cool story. Um, I'm also, uh, I, I think it's a great choice, uh, for you to kind of try something like that. 
Uh, but one question I have for you right off the bat is how were you able to convince your parents to let you take this random strangers course on the internet to get a job versus going the route that most people go, which is, you know, college or maybe going into the trades or something like that? Yeah. Um, I think the main thing was, I feel like for young people, when you're trying, when you're taking a, this risk, which it really isn't a risk, like, Think about it. I was coming to my parents and I was showing them this course. The guy already had testimonials of people who had results. And I told them, hey, I want to learn this skill. Like, let me try this. Um, and to them, I feel like it's because he had testimonials and because it just made sense. Like, everyone knows that, you know, we're in a digital world. People are selling things online and they need to market. So having this skill it's it's in demand you know it just makes sense overall and i feel like you kind of have like especially if you're a young person like me i never got in trouble or anything like that they never had to worry about anything so you have to kind of if you want to make a decision like this you have to set yourself up um just by how you've been acting in in uh school prior and just like your mannerisms and how you are as a person to to make a decision like this but i feel like if you if you're a kid that just you've been in school, you've been doing what you're supposed to do. It's like, I feel like it's the same. as like telling, uh, it's not like you're, you're taking something outlandish. Like you want to be a music producer and you found some random uh, guy's course online, like making money in music. <laughs> like, no, don't get me wrong. It's cool. Right. That, that's cool. To do, but like you're learning a digital skill that's in demand and people are getting paid for it. All right. It's like a lot of a lot of young people are working jobs that they really don't want to do. Like you're in, you're you're probably working some fast food job. You, you're not really learning a skill. You're learning how to talk to people. You're learning how to you're learning, you know, customer service skills. But there's not really a skill that pays a lot in that. So it wasn't like it was a big deal. I just feel like leading up to that conversation when you want to make a risk, well, not really take a risk, but you want to do something like this and take a course online, you have to set yourself up to where uh, your folks can trust you in a way to get it done. I feel like, and, and that's, that just comes from, I don't know, maturity and just like having a history of just not like doing crazy, uh, crazy things before, while you're in high school or your younger years, so. Yeah. And I would add on to that, you know, a lot of the times I, I work with people, I help people to kind of like find the best career path for them. And, you know, a lot of the times they'll narrow their list down to maybe two or three different career paths. And one of them will be like, it takes 10 years to get into it. It's like a medical doctor or something like that. And then another one will be like, you can get into it in the next year, right? You can yeah. literally try it out in like six months to a year. And then another one, maybe it takes like four or five years. You have to get a bachelor's. And I always recommend to them that the smartest way to do it, generally speaking, unless you really have your heart set on one of those other ones, is to just go with the one that takes the least amount of time to get into it. Because, I mean, let's just say there's a 50% chance you're going to like the career, right? You've really done your research. You've, you've made sure it's something that, you know, you think you might like. And there's a 50% chance you're going to like the career. What What's worse? You dedicate 10 to 12 years of your life to get into a career and then you don't like it versus okay you dedicated like six months of your life to get into a career you decide you don't like it you know yeah which one's worse 12 years three hundred thousand dollars four hundred thousand dollars in debt or or six months and you know you bought a course now that's there's, that's there's that's kind of the way i think about it there's one thing like I've got like my, my, uh, my folks didn't go to college, right. They, or they started and just didn't finish. But there's one thing's clear. Like my dad, he had a skill, like he learned how to, he knew how to fix cars and because he had that skill. He can make good money. And I feel like just school has us, I think we're being taught we should follow our dreams going straight out of high school. And usually that dream is like, people don't know what they want to do. Like most people don't know what they, I still don't know what I want to do, but I can tell you what I do have is skill. And I have more options to, to pursue the things that I want to do in the future because I, I have that skill now. And that's the same thing with my dad. Like my dad was into uh, music and stuff. He didn't know that he was going to end up, you know, fixing trucks, but he needed a skill to make money because he had a family. So I feel like 
uh, younger people are being taught to just uh, follow your dreams and go straight to college when you should really just get a skill first and figure it out from there. I feel like it's kind of backwards. I 100% agree. Yeah. It, and, you know, the, the fact that like it's legal to like 17, 18 years old to take out that yeah. many student loans is just, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's when, a huge When problem. I was, there's this dude on uh, YouTube named, uh, dang, what's his name? What's his name? Alex Ramosi. And he had this one interview. Oh, I where know. Him. He was, yeah. Yeah. He was talking about uh, how the system is set up to where like 18 year olds can get like, 500 grand in debt and the government legalized that i was like bro we're set up to fail they're like set up to like take 30 percent of your check for the rest of your life and that's insane like once he broke it down to me like that i'm like bro that's crazy yeah and, and it's basically like they have so much leverage over you as well like like when if they know you have a lot of debt they they have a ton of leverage over you because they know like you're gonna have to work really hard to pay off that debt but if you're able to get a job uh, when you're young that pays pretty well, has a lot of upward mobility, has the ability for you to rise up and get paid, you know, seventy, hundred thousand dollars a year, et cetera, without having to deal with all that debt, then you can go and take risks. You can go and start businesses. You can go chase your dreams. And so, like you said, it's basically what we're doing. The way we're doing it right now is kind of backwards. And it, and it, even though people like think it's going to help them pursue their passion and their dreams. What ends up happening in a lot of cases it's, is it's the opposite because they don't have any skills and so they don't have any extra time or money to dedicate yeah. to pursuing the passion uh, and, and the dreams that they have. So okay. yeah, I, I definitely agree with you there. And um, let's, let's talk about it. So let me, let me just get the, the timeline. So you bought the course and mm -hmm. approximately how long did it take you to get through this course? Well, just going over the content, he says, like, go up through it once just to get a synopsis of everything and then go through it again and actually apply it. It took me to apply the information. It probably didn't take that long, but to get uh, in a position where I had enough, um, quote unquote, experience or confidence to, like, start applying, it took me about a year. It could have been a lot faster, honestly. Uh, the, my first opportunity I got was from an internship um, that I found just online and one of the resources he gives in the course. And I was at that internship actually way too long because it was like, it was one of those uh, internships. It wasn't like a good company, it was a startup. It was some dude in Phoenix, Arizona. And if you've been in the marketing, you know anything out of Phoenix, Arizona is kind of sketchy. Like <laughs> It was one of those situations where I was learning a lot at the time, but I was just seeing exactly like how not to do things. Like it was just, it was a very like run of the mill. It was just some dude during COVID trying to make some money off these small uh, struggling businesses and offering services. And he was, he, he was trying his best, but it wasn't good. And the crazy thing is, crazy thing about that internship is during that internship, I probably managed less than a hundred dollars in spend on Google ads. And here's what's crazy though. I got, to, I got a little bit of experience talking to clients. I understood the language. I understood what to do. And that was enough. When I started applying, because that, that, that internship ended because it was just bad. It was a bad business. They, they, he tried to uh, hire some guys, from, uh, some women from India. He, it, I don't know. It was really sketchy. But it was, it was experience. And I feel like if you could just find that, like, that one little opportunity where you just like have just put that on your resume. That's enough because these, these agencies and these companies, when they're looking for someone who has one to two years, one to three years of experience, they're not looking for you to be like a genius because they know you're not going to learn this in college anyway. But I was able to speak the language and they love that. And I understood I un when I was in my interview, they clearly could say like, Oh, he knows what he's talking about. Like we can train him up from here. So, yeah. And then once I, once I got that job, that's when they handed me about like uh, 50 to 70K to spend in Google ads a month. And from there, I really got to understand Google ads itself. And then as I pursued my career, I realized like this company, even though they're making money, they're not providing the best service. Because like it's, it's a lot of different nuances you learn as you can get experience in digital marketing. Because some of these companies, right, they're um, like it was a lead generation, right? 
So in lead generation, basically, uh, these companies, they'll, they'll put the clients on retainers and then they'll pay people like me to manage the ads, to generate leads, to get people contact information for their businesses, right? But the thing about that is like they say they're data driven, but really it's just <laughs> really they're just having people who know a lot about Google ads manage their campaigns to, to make sure the product is going. But I knew I had to leave there because I knew that the product they were giving wasn't the best. And it was just it was good money. Don't get me wrong, but I knew there was more to learn. Cause, so I started applying. I think I was like uh, four or five months into the job. And I really want to get into e-commerce because that's what that's the thing that intrigued me. Because remember back when I was in middle school, I was this dude named Hayden Bull, he was like 16, making six figures doing Facebook ads in Shopify. I was like, what the world? So uh, I started applying and I found this another company. Um, they focused primarily on e-commerce and then getting into the e-commerce world where you can actually see how much money you're generating from your advertising. And my last company, we couldn't even tell because we were just uh, attributing a random value to leads it was there's some jobs like that and mm. people gotta understand like there's just people a lot of these companies they're not looking for some crazy person who has like a four-year degree they're just looking for someone who understands the platform and how to use it and can speak the language and they can and then some of them would just train you up from there like they when i got to that first job they trained me up like i knew nothing like i knew absolutely nothing and i was like really like, they're really doing this. Like, they're teaching me, they're going over basic stuff that I already learned in the course. And I'm like, wow. And I'm like, but yeah, I think on the, uh, their job, the, uh, the job, they said they needed like one to three years experience. It was really just nonsense. Yeah, they just yeah. need someone who spoke the, the language. They always say that. Yeah, they always yeah. say that. <laughs> you can ignore that like 95% yeah. of the time. Yeah, um, he says that in the course, you really should ignore it too. Yeah, it, it's it's like a meme. It's like the meme of our generation, basically. It's like entry level job that needs one to five years of experience. Like that that doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> exactly. How how is this an entry level job if you need a one to five years of experience? Exactly. But um, so okay, so I I just want to just get okay. So it took you about a year or so after purchasing the course to get your first job, mm -hmm. basically, and yeah. how much. How much were you making from that first job that you got? And that was night. You were nineteen years old, right? Yeah, I was nineteen, about turned twenty. They, wow. I got hired for fifty uh, k a year. I was making about three uh, k a month from that. Wow, job. that that is incredible for a nineteen year old. That is awesome. Yeah. And then you got the other job that you liked like a little bit, like quite a bit more when you were twenty. Oh. 20. Not uh, quite a bit, a lot more. <laughs> yeah, a lot more. And uh, how much were you making from that job? Or, or uh, I think you're still with them. Yeah, I'm still with them. It's about a four, four, four point two k a month. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So it's, right. they they hired me for seventy k a year. Wow. All right. Yeah. At twenty years old. That's amazing. Yeah. Man. That is awesome. And uh, you know, Seth, can I put a note? Cause like the, the crazy, the great thing about digital marketing is when you get to an agency and they hand you all this spend, you know, and when you, when you want to reach out and try to get into e-commerce and you can say that you have all this spend, like I was able to say, like, I'm, I put together a plan to spend like hundreds of thousands of dollars for this company at my last job. And then when they look at you and you're like 20 years old, they're like, Oh my God, you did that. So it just, it's really, it just, that's the thing about digital marketing. You can put stuff like that on your resume to say that you actually did mm -hmm. something like that. And you, it's a dollar amount, which is crazy because a lot of people can't do that. Now, one thing that Seth says, uh, he, he, he's, one thing I really like about Seth is he is just like brutally honest. Like he's a very straightforward, honest guy. And I really like that about him. Um, and he'll, you know, a lot of people out there will be like, oh, digital marketing, you can make like six figures right away. Realistically speaking, you're pr like, how many years of experience do you think you're going to need before you possibly get to that six figure level? Like realistically speaking. I th well, my scenario, like most people from the court, I'm not sure what Seth's numbers are, but my, I'm definitely kind of an outlier. I'm definitely an outlier. People uh, don't usually get, you know, 50K off the rip. Usually, uh, he said in the course, you, you probably end up at uh, 
maybe in an internship, probably making 10, 15, which is a lot better than, you know, what I was doing, but you probably end up in a 30 K. I think it will probably take realistically because there's still so much I, a lot I have to learn, especially in e-commerce now. Um, realistically, I think it will take about, I would say about three or four. It, de- it depends. It really depends on the person and how willing you are to progress in your career and how comfortable you are. I think, I think, cause some people in the course, I think one uh, woman did it in three or four years. Some people may take a lot longer, depending on how much you're willing to learn. Like I'm always learning about digital marketing. Uh, I'm always trying to see how can I get better. And I'm always trying to figure out uh, what projects can I do to further my knowledge uh, on it. So it, I don't, I don't know how long it takes, but I know one uh, one person course for one person from the course took three to four years. I think that's realistic, uh, depending on where you live, of course. So you could like when your high school friends are just graduating from college, it's a possibility that you might already be making like six figures. Like oh, yeah, right, that's a big possibility. Right wow. Yeah. Wow. That I mean, what what else? What else do you have to say? Like, you, while they're paying forty thousand a year. Or, or whatever it is, while they're paying yeah. all this money to go to college, you were you were making money and you were learning. Yeah. They're, so they're paying exactly. money to learn, but you, and you're making money to learn, basically. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think you made uh, a great choice for sure. Um, and you know, there's uh, digital marketing is is one that I really like. It's one of those careers I really like. There's about twelve careers or so that I really like that you can get into uh, without a college degree or you can get into them with a college degree that maybe you don't like very much if, if you're in that boat, which a lot of people are in that boat, they got yeah. a college degree, they're not really able to get a job or they just don't like it or, or something along those lines. There's about 12 careers or so that I uh, recommend quite a bit. Digital marketing is uh, definitely one of them that has the most demand and it's it's just gonna be mm. growing like crazy and uh it is relatively easy to get into and relatively straightforward especially if you have the help of somebody like seth and uh, seth does have a master class i will put that uh down in the description and maybe like a pinned comment and i might put it up here as well we'll see if i can do that i'm not even sure i can do that but i will put that down below you can check out his uh master class uh, he, one of the reasons why, uh, I, I partnered with Seth and I brought him on the channel is because this guy has the most reviews I've ever seen out of like anybody online. <laughs> like, like he has a new review every few days. Uh, and these are all people you can just like look up. Like, you, like I, I linked up with you on, on LinkedIn. I just looked them up on LinkedIn and you know, so there, there's no gimmicks like there, there's, it's just, and Seth is super straightforward. He could probably make a lot more money if he used like sketchy marketing tactics. Um, but Seth is like super straightforward and just like to the point, a uh, very honest guy. So Keyshawn, one thing that I, uh, get quite a bit from people who watch my channel, uh, it's not everybody, but a lot of people are interested in starting businesses later on in their life. So they're kind of interested in starting side hustles or businesses. Mm -hmm. And typically the advice that I give them that I think is like a pretty solid advice is to first learn some sort of skill that you can make some sort of steady money with. And then you can start a business on the side because there's just so many different reasons to do it that way. Uh, You know, you have, you have the time, you have the money. You also just have the peace of mind knowing that, you know, if it doesn't work out, you're going to be totally fine. Whereas if you just go all in on it and and you're not making money anywhere else, I mean, that for me, that would be extremely nerve wracking. Some people, you know, thrive under pressure like that, but I think most people don't. For me, it definitely would have been too nerve wracking. Um, So you kind of uh, have some plans in the future and you're going to be using a super, super valuable skill that you're getting paid to learn, which is digital marketing. And that is probably going to help you out quite a bit when it comes to your entrepreneurial endeavors in the future. Um, so I, do you want to maybe talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I feel like that's great advice because it, it makes sense. I mean, most people, like, like most businesses fail because the, they just don't have any foundation to go off of. So you really need a skill. 
you need you need to know something. I know for me, I want to get into e-commerce. I work with e-commerce brands. Like I actually manage the ads for multiple e-commerce brands and I'm getting paid to do it. So it just makes sense for me. I'll ha- it gives me the option and the knowledge to have an idea of what to do if I wanted to start my own e-commerce brand. And I'm getting paid to learn <laughs> to learn about it. And it's it's uh yeah, that's 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 really good advice. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much again for coming on the channel, Keyshawn. I'm so glad I could get you on so you could uh, share your story. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.